I think that the technology represents only one of the channels of the communication, so we need as a brand to have a very solid brand strategy and a very effective marketing communication program, knowing exactly what we want to talk about. And then we can think about the flexibility of the message across all the different channels. I think that product and service still represent the core of our offer. And as you can imagine, being able to, to talk a lot about our coffee credential and then having a customer walking in store without having the actual experience would be actually counterproductive. So I would say that you know, technology is important to talk about you know, who we are, but at the same time, a good training proce process and uh, you know, great products, uh, being able not to compromise about the choice of you know, service style, service model, etc. is quite important. So once again, we can talk about it through all the technology channels, but we need to make sure that it's fully in place first. We are in the process of developing a mobile app. Although we've decided not to give up entirely um, the loyalty cards, I think this is the main reward for the customer, just being able to enjoy their free drinks with, without even any data capture, which I know, of course, you know, it hurts given that we have 85 million customers per year, but at the same time, you know, I think that's one of the main reasons why the customer keep coming back, because we don't ask all the time for their data. It's really felt by the customer as an act of kindness towards them. Um, yes, I think it's quite important really when uh, starting you know, to, to work for different companies and uh, you know, entering the job, ar job arena really, uh, to be able to see every different task as really an opportunity for growth and uh, being able to have some learning points out of each experience which sometimes you know might not be appreciated. Um, I think it's quite important as well to see um, every setback shouldn't be seen really as a failure but more like as an opportunity to learn and really I would say not to give up to have some tenacity about you know accomplishing your task and making sure that you deliver excellence uh, whatever you're asked actually to deliver, whatever the, the task is. Um, I do understand that loads of students might not know exactly where they want to end up in 10 years time, but I think it's quite important to ask yourself the question and not to be unprepared when it happens because time goes really fast. <laughs> Sure, this book is called Grit, it's written by Angela Duckworth. I, come I came across Angela through um, a TED talk uh, a few months ago and I was really intrigued by the subject and uh, the book is really an expansion on the subject of the talk and it's about um, why people who are most likely to succeed in life because of their raw talent don't actually happen to succeed in life, whereas people who actually might be slightly less gifted in terms of having a very clear talent um, do succeed through um, trial, error, application, long-term vision, perseverance and um, being able to stick to their long-term vision. And I think that's quite important nowadays because there is a big talk all around the media about talent and about being able to exploit in some ways these natural skills, but this book actually um, turns tables in some ways because it says that talent is actually nothing without perseverance, grit and passion applied to the same subject with a long-term vision.